as far as the fixed vertical rails themselves, how they're attached to the wall. You do have to get a little creative with the unistrut uh, if you're going to do something that it's not originally meant for. It doesn't have a lot of play, a lot of extra space for attachment hardware. So what I did is I drilled some additional holes for some mounting screws. It's a uh, number 10, four inch long mounting screws every 12 inches. Go through the unistrut, through the 5-inch sheetrock, and then into the wall studs. So you've got say one here, another one 12 inches up, another one 12 inches up, another one 12 inches up, and that's how that's attached there. You do have to drill the pilot hole a very specific size. I'm not going to say what size I used because you may be using different screws. And I don't want to be telling you the wrong numbers. It's going to be very, very dependent on the specific hardware you're using. Because there's just not much room for the trolley to pass by that screw. If you're out a 32nd of an inch too much, it won't. So you can't drill a hole too small. But if you drill a hole too big, you'll have issues with that too. So I'm not going to say what size drill bit I used. But you just play with it and figure it out, and it's not that complicated. As the man said, it ain't rocket surgery. As far as the construction of the lift platform itself, the base is just a frame of one and five eighths unistrut all the way around with three quarter inch plywood attached to it with self-tapping screws. The diagonals are perforated, one and a half inch strapping attached at the top and the bottom. Uh, with Unistrut specific mounting hardware if you're familiar with them. If you're not, uh, you might want to get used to it or get familiar with it before you try doing that. It is then attached to the upright part of the lift. Down at the bottom, I can't really show you the details, but it's multiple bolts holding it in position together. And to attach it to the fixed rails that it rides on, the tracks, are these Unistrut trolleys that fit inside the track of the fixed one and are bolted to the moving one. On the upper end, you get the trolley right here attached, riding inside the track of the fixed rail and attached with that same unistrut bolt and nut there. The second one down here, if you'd be able to see it, is actually a long lag bolt. Yeah, you can't see it down in there. It's a six and a half inch long half inch diameter lag bolt through the strut into the two by six. And then to hold the sandwich together, I initially, just as part of the holding it in place during construction, just a long self-tapping screw, the head right there. That was just to hold it in place while I did the bolt. And the bolt goes through the two by six through the flange of the unistrut, through the other two by six, through the other flange of the unistrut. And you can see the head of the carriage bolt right there. And same thing on the other side. The lift point attachment, very straightforward, very primitive, frankly. It's two doubled layers, so four layers of strap that's typically used for holding duct work and different structural things inside a building. Not real heavy duty. It's rated for 150 some pounds each. So it doubled up 300 to 310 times two of them. And then just as an extra safety measure, two wraps of this eighth inch 
316 stainless, I'm sorry, 316 stainless cable. Uh, and they're rated for, I believe, 420 pounds each. And there's two of them there just as backups. So it's fine. It's not going anywhere. Those are the connections of the fall arresters that allow it to lower slowly, but not fast. Kind of like a seat belt that'll let you pull it out slow, but if you try to pull it out fast, it locks it up. And that is basically it. Pretty simple, just a lot of learning curve if you've never done one before, like I have. On the upper end, we've got obviously the trolley, the two fall arresters. Uh, I was a little concerned at first that this long run of vertical unistruck, because it's spanning about seven feet on one side and about eight feet on the other vertically between the floor decking and where it is attached to that two by four there. And I thought I might have enough flex there that I would need to add some framing to support it to make it more rigid. But I test ran it quite a few times before I built the gate and it's surprisingly stout. It doesn't flex detectably at all. So that worked out well. I got lucky on that one. The beam that it's hanging on, the, these are, I don't know what you call them, they're mounts, clamps, specifically for a unistrut. They clamp around the unistrut. The beam itself is just made up. It's got a unistrut, two by four, and then a thinner unistrut on the outside here, simply to make it fit the hardware. Everything is supported on this diagonal mounting bracket here that's held in place with two half-inch carriage bolts to the unistrut. And that, the full-size unistrut combined with the narrow unistrut fit better and was actually more stable and secure than two pieces of the full-size unistrut. So that's what I used. And that's all sandwiched and bolted together. The carriage bolt, you got two there for that angle. Then one carriage bolt going through the unistrut, through the two by four, through the other unistrut. And on the outside, and on the outside, it's got the washer, the lock washer, regular nut, and that outer one is different looking because it's actually a nylock lock nut. Just again, just a extra bit of security belt and suspenders approach to it. The fall arresters are attached to these ring bolts with large washer so it spans the entire unistrut channel. And again, lock nut. I'm mean, sorry, lock washer and nut on the inside. So that's not going anywhere. And all in all, it's surprisingly stable. These black wires on either side, that was just part of the temporary bracing or security when I was putting it up and I just haven't removed them yet, just in case I ever do have to modify anything, I'll still leave them there. But they were just to hold it temporarily in place while I put all the bolts in place. So that's all that is. It's not doing anything right now. But that is the extent of it. The gate is two by fours. And instead of doing diagonal brace, like you normally do on a gate, I just used large shelf brackets because they hold it perfectly square and there's not a lot of weight on it. The gate itself. Magnets here and here. Then when you close it, they hit the unistrut and hold it fairly secure. But again, just to get a good mechanical lock, I went ahead and put a actual latch into a recessed hole under there. And he's going nowhere. This is the pin. 
I use as an extra security for the lift, the actual platform when it's up top. The trolleys end up parking along in here. So you stick him underneath the trolley. The trolley's up here. And that way if everything fails, the beam fails, both of the fall arresters fail, the trolley fails, everything fails, this guy will still keep the trolley from falling. So that is what that's all about. Okay, this is the lift in its final form. The total travel from the floor down there to the deck up here is just a couple inches shy of 11 feet. The only controls are up here, attached to the rail. That's intentional, so people don't get tempted to ride it, which they could if there was controls on both ends. So I've already used it a bunch, brought a bunch of stuff up here to the loft. But just to show what it does and how it travels, got your hoist here, obviously. Two fall arresters, one on each side, attached to the crossbar. <coughs> and then this is just a tractor hitch pin for attaching a wagon or other implement to the back of a tractor. And I use him as a third safety when the lift is up and parked up at the upper level, you stick him through the unistrut below the trolley, put him in place, and that way even if everything fails, this will still prevent it from dropping down. So, here we go. He's pretty noisy. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me. Uh, <laughs> don't mind my ripped pants. Uh, there's no one out this far out in the middle of nowhere to see it except my wife and the coyotes and my wife's seen me in worse and I've kind of given up caring what the coyotes think so here we go again it's not the fastest traveling but if I doubled up the cable to increase the load capability it would slow it down even further. So once he's up, there's a latching gate here. Undo the gate. Now you do have full access to the whole thing. Much better than carrying tubs and tools and everything up all those stairs over and over again. The gate does have a magnetic catch to hold it shut, but I went ahead and put in a physical catch as well, just to be a little extra safety measure and going down. And that is it. Appreciate it.